You're watching CNA Heroes. Here's Lisa Sweet. Welcome to CNA Heroes. I'm Lisa Sweet, co-founder of the National Association of Healthcare Assistants. The past year has been one full of uncertainty and loneliness for so many people, both elders and CNAs. Regardless of their title, CNA, ALC, Assisted Living Caregiver, Home Health Aid or HHA, Hospice Caregivers, these individuals have shown up in the most difficult of circumstances and I would like to say thank you. Chances are, if you're watching this video, you are a CNA or you know a CNA. If you are a CNA, give yourself a pat on the back. And if you know a CNA, find them and give them some well-deserved recognition and a thank you. No matter the care setting, the frail and elderly were isolated this past year as visitors were restricted from nursing homes and families were discouraged from direct contact with their elders to protect them from potential COVID exposure. There were so many lonely, frail, and elderly in this country separated from their loved ones, except many of them were blessed to have this one constant in their lives, that one familiar face who would come through the door with help, love, and encouragement. That is their CNA. I say their CNA because the residents, patients, clients, whatever you want to call that person receiving care, they claim that CNA as their own, one of their tribe, their family. That CNA is their CNA and never before has that relationship been more important than with the COVID pandemic. I have no doubt in my mind that CNAs saved many lives through COVID simply by being present and showing up. COVID wasn't the only killer during the pandemic. Loneliness kills too. Recently, I watched a TED talk and a world-renowned psychologist said that the negative physical effects of loneliness are comparable to smoking 15 cigarettes a day. Combating this loneliness and isolation, supporting the client or patient like family, was a major goal of Joanne Freeman Blake, a certified nursing assistant at Visiting Angels, Augusta, Georgia. She tried to make sure her patient saw her as family. For the past three and a half years, Joanne has worked at Visiting Angels Augusta, providing more than 6,500 hours of care to seniors who depend on her support to stay safe in their homes. She was recognized as the caregiver of the year by Visiting Angels. She was chosen out of more than 20,000 CNAs and 650 visiting angels facilities across the country. She received a certificate, a vase, and a $5,000 check. Joanne said the only thing she wanted to make sure is that her clients were able to sense the love and compassion she has for them. Her hope was to express the same love and compassion her patient's family member would have shown had they been able to be present. Joanne said to get this award has been very overwhelming because of so many CNAs to know that I was the one picked to be the winner, the top CNA, that lets me know that God has put me where he wants me to be and he is working through me. Those are the words of Joanne. Joanne has also stepped up and become a mentor to fellow caregivers at Visiting Angels. And that's not all about Joanne. She is a children's book author too. Joanne wrote a book titled, Emery, the Bullyproof Kid, after her grandson was bullied by a classmate. 
The book is widely available and she hopes it raises awareness about bullying. Wow, Joanne, you are a woman of many talents. Your compassion and empathy for others is seen in your work and your writing. Everyone, please join me in recognizing the achievements of Joanne Freeman Blake, CNA Hero. Thank you.